So as you might recall, I recently made a video about my journey of importing this 2005 Mitsubishi Delica Space Gear from Japan and what the process was like. If you haven't already watched that, I'll leave a link to it down below. In this video, I'm going to be covering the insulation of the flooring, which involves doing the insulation, the subfloor, and then the floor on top of that, and transforming the interior of this van from something like this, with seating in the back, to something like this, which sets you up nicely for farther camperization of the van. The first step of the process is, of course, removing the seats. The rear seats are pretty simple to remove. I found that it was easier to remove with the seats stowed up like that. For each side, there are two bolts which fasten it down to the wheel well. The front seats are each held down by six bolts and you actually need to remove the entire track to remove the seat. This can be a one person job, but I was fortunate enough to have my friend here help me with the removal of the seats and also the installation of the subfloor as you'll see in the future. Once you have it out, you can just carry it with the tracks, as I mentioned earlier. It's a little bit heavy, which makes me excited about the weight savings with all these seats out of the car. Now, with the seats out of the van, next up was the carpet. The carpet is actually pretty easy to remove. It's not really held down by anything once the seats are out. You just sort of peel it out of the corners. It should come right out. In our case, we did have a custom center console that made it a little bit more difficult here. In retrospect though, we probably should have just removed that center console because we end up removing it anyways for the installation of the subfloor. After not a lot of trouble really for removing the carpet, it was time to remove the insulation. The insulation in the front isn't really held down by anything so you just basically pick it up and get it out of the van. In the rear there are two points where it's glued down your Delica might vary, but in this case that one was also very easy to remove. I also did give some thought to the idea of just using the insulation that's already in there. The only trouble with that though is that the insulation that's already in the van is too thick and would have the subfloor sitting too high and when you have this little height to work with, every centimeter counts. With the van looking bare and down to the metal, it was time to start templating on the plywood. This is half inch plywood um, and it's in two separate pieces because I wasn't able to find anything big enough that would fit the entire subfloor in one piece. So after some alignment of the carpet to make sure we minimize the number of cuts we would need because honestly I have zero experience using a jigsaw, we got to drawing an outline. If you are doing something similar, I would recommend laying the carpet upside down so those tracks for the middle row seats aren't pulling the edges in and also put some weights on the carpet so it doesn't move around as you outline. With our beautiful template drawn, it was time to begin the scary but fun part which was cutting into the plywood. Those first cuts were definitely scary because these pieces are not cheap. But uh, uh, once you get going, it's actually pretty fun. So with the sun setting and us having something that sort of resembled the floor of the van, it was time to test fit. And let me tell you, this part was probably the most brutal. We probably hauled that rear subfloor piece in and out 10 or 12 times, making small cuts each time before it finally fit. However, for the front subfloor piece, we did smart up and used a cardboard template to serve as an intermediary in between the carpet and the cut onto the plywood so that if the cardboard didn't fit, it would be way easier to cut it down and you can just use scissors while it's in the van instead of having to take it out, get the jigs out, cut it, put it back, test it, and rinse and repeat. With the carpet having done its job of serving as our first template, we bundled up nicely and put it away to probably never be used again. We started cutting our cardboard template and I'm so glad we did this. Man, it made our job so much easier. 
we did not have to make iterations on the plywood, instead just on a piece of cardboard. Just look at how easy this is. It sits in the van. Oh, a corner doesn't fit. Let me just get my scissors out and now it'll fit. A couple of iterations here and we had something that we were pretty comfortable with. We did, I think, over detail at this point, even accounting for the screw holes in the step, which down the line I end up cutting out anyways because you need more room around that step, around the sliding door. But uh, the fun part resumed of cutting down and we had a couple lines here, so at one point I'm not sure what to follow, but it comes out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of this front subfloor piece. You'll see in the future that it fits quite well. And it was finally time for the moment of truth. This is the very first time we're testing out our cut plywood and oh man was it satisfying it fit it fit so snug and spirits were at an all-time high <laughs> some good uh jdm goodness here 100 yens mcdonald's thing i think yum 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 we just took the this guy off it was like a custom made thing we'll be putting it back Pretty nice but making good progress with the front sub floor piece. Riding off of the high of fitting that front sub floor piece in, we decide to put both pieces in side by side and keep the good times rolling. And as you can see, it fits super well. I was so excited at this point because this was honestly the most daunting part of the build, getting a sub floor that fit in well. The corners that are lifting up a little bit is because we haven't lifted out this uh, step trim that you can see which we end up doing after some finishing touches to make the edges smooth and the plywood a little bit more water resistant it was time to come up with our floor mounts so these rectangular pieces are going to be cut out of plywood and they're going to be mounted to the floor of the van using the existing mounting points that are there for the seats then we'll put thread inserts into those rectangular pieces and those thread inserts will be used to screw in the subfloor into those little rectangles that are attached to the van's floor. Because the bolts that come with the car stick out so much, we use the template to figure out where in the subfloor we'll have to cut holes so that it'll clear the subfloor. Iterating is the name of the game when coming up with these subfloors and after a couple of attempts, we got the holes to line up with where the bolts were and spirits once again were high. <laughs> oh, wow. <it's> <laughs> One more quick test fit before cutting some extra holes in the floor and yeah, it's already fitting quite well. Because my Delica came equipped with electronically controlled suspension, there were these two holes on the floor of the van for the actuating motors that you can see in the black there that I had to cut out holes for in the subfloor, otherwise the floor would stick out a little bit. Now that I was confident the subfloor pieces would fit in, I removed them, removed the floor mounts, and cut Reflectix insulation to the size of the floor of the van, and then used the floor mounts to go on top of it and hold down the insulation, just to provide a little bit of insulation between the subfloor and the van's floor. I also ended up switching to thread inserts for the floor mounts as the ones I was using previously were just hammered in and I found that as I was screwing in the subfloor they would spin out and so they weren't as sturdy as I'd hoped. But with some solid floor mounts in there I screwed in the subfloor and it was in there, it wasn't going anywhere. With both pieces of the subfloor secured in there, it was time to go back to Home Depot for what felt like the 20th time and get some waterproof sheet vinyl flooring. I was already so stoked just having the sheet vinyl in there and seeing how beautiful it looked. I loved the green and the color on it. I started cutting away at it. Some of the edges didn't come out perfect, but I ended up ordering some edge trim that would go around the wheel wells and also at the back and the front. It won't be in this video, but this is pretty much how it looks right now before those edge trims go in. 
and tune in next video. Yes, this video is coming to an end, but tune in next video to see the aluminum 8020 bed that I designed and build that slides out to become a bigger bed. But until then, it's time for you and I both to rest. Subscribe to stay up to date with the build. Follow the van on Instagram at 20gear and me on Twitter at iAlligator if you would like. See you next time.